Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Destiny if you are new here, big welcome. As you can see from the title, today we are going to be going over my fall wish list, what's in my shopping cart from a range of both luxury items and on the more affordable side. I really liked this video doing it for the summer version, so I thought we'd bring it back for the fall as we are finally in the superior season. So we're just gonna have a casual chit chat about what's in our cart what are the girlies getting this season um and like i said i wanted to include both like luxury and then like your very mundane items and you'll see like when i start talking about them of just items that it's like yeah like this is a necessity i'm re-upping for the fall for this so a lot of items to get through i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and let's get into this wish list Okay, first let's start with the shoes, of course, and I'm gonna have everything populate here on the side of me as well. Hopefully we're leaving enough room. The first item I have my eyes on are the 2002 R New Balances in this Midnight Watch green color. I have been on the fence of being a New Balance girly. Like I'm, I'm kind of into sneakers, but not really that much. And so I was just kind of like, mm, but this color is so cute it's perfect for fall and i'm like i think i might cave and have to cop this is the essential fall sneaker if you don't have this colorway def hop on this because this shoe is just so cute um so these are definitely on my list i think it's just the cutest sneaker and like i said i have not i don't own any new balances so this colorway really spoke to me as being just such a cute shoe and i think for this fall season a little bit more cozier vibes i think i might be ready to tap in and hop on the new balance wave so but yeah this shoe the color the color is just i'm really into green lately i've noticed like green's really speaking to me which is perfect because we're going into fall but um yeah green is really is really starting to speak to me okay the next pair of shoes another just very like it's uggs now we all know it's fall so i'm ready to whip out the uggs but are we gonna go do like the chestnut brown chestnut color which i mean obviously is a staple og you can't go wrong but so I, i'm in between those and i came across this olive green again another green color the olive green low rise ones are so cute i'm thinking me pulling up to the movies cozy in my sweats throw these uggs on they are such a cute colorway so i'm like a little bit torn i'm like do we need both one or the other but i will say if you are into the green and you want to get out of kind of like that basic chestnut color these green ones are so cute definitely giving fall it definitely is taking your uggs like one level up you know what i mean but just so cute so comfy fall just yes okay so the next shoe there's a couple from Schutz that I have been having my eye on. Obviously, we know it is boot season. A heeled boot, a heeled knee-high boot, forget about it. Schutz has a couple that I have been eyeing for the fall. And the first one is just their knee-high Mariana boot, um, plain black. Obviously, an essential for me. I need to get new black knee-high boots, um, so... You really just can't go wrong with a black boot obviously it's a central it's a staple duh but the crocodile or like the snake print are also really cute so and i kind of hinted at this too in my previous vid video of just taking some of the items that you wear in your wardrobe a lot and just getting them in different styles to add more versatility to your wardrobe and so that's what i might start to do a little bit more intentionally with like my knee-high boots and stuff like that because i love wearing heeled boots and i just feel like i don't have enough variety of them yet right now so i definitely want to just kind of expand get some more styles that's definitely on my list um the plain ones the crocodile ones the snake ones all super cute there also is like the shuts boot that i came across that is the mary up boot and i've been seeing it in two colorways 
The first one being this kind of metallic silver and then I've seen it in this like metallic blue color. Definitely a very, very kind of like statement boo. It pops out. Um, I can't figure out yet if it's me, um, but the shoe looks so good. It's stunning. It definitely pops out. It grabs your attention. So I'm like, I have my eye on you. You seem really cool, but um, TBD, but it is on this list because it stood out. Okay, the next, another knee-high boot, just like a plain black boot, but it's really cute. It is the Femme LA Marielle two-way boot, and unlike just kind of like your plain black boot, it is kind of ruffled on one side and then just kind of like straight and plain on one side. So that little minute detail gives it something to just like a plain black knee-high boot, but those are also really cute. So I'm kind of up in the air on whether to go shuts or the Femme LA. And obviously, like I said, I a black knee high is an essential going into the fall. The colder seasons, like I, I'm gonna be wearing them day in, day out. So next boot, this, it is the Paris, Texas stiletto boot. In this crocodile green, this boot is so freaking cute i'm like i saw this on my instagram and i was just scrolling and i was like stop it right now this boot is stunning how do i get my hands on it um it just looks gorgeous everything about it and again the green has been speaking to me but the green and that crocodile that deep okay so rude my camera cut off but we're back um like i was saying the paris boot and like that croc green just so luxe so fire just like a perfect fall boot i'm like even thinking of like a fire all black outfit with ooh, maybe like a black mini skirt just so many so many ways i def have my eyes on those boots because so freaking cute okay the next pair of shoes are the amina maudi lupita slipper sponge heels in orange i don't know why like this shoe spoke to me for fall but this shoe is just so cute i love like the spongy texture it makes it something different than like your normal just kind of slip on heels but for some reason when i saw these i thought of my cargos maybe pairing those it would be really cute so just having like that pop of color again i think this is just a really really cute shoe i mean amina maudi makes beautiful shoes all in all still nice to have kind of like some open toed options um especially as we transition because here in LA, it is still blazing, and I'm like, please, can we just transition into fall already? I don't know about everybody else, I'm ready for the fall season, like, not 94 degree weather, so. Okay, moving into some clothes now. First is, I just want, like, a new Essentials sweat set. I definitely want the sweatshirt, and I'm kind of debating between kind of, like, the taupe color or the off-white, um, and like the basic one where it has kind of like the small writing in the upper corner, but obviously it's hoodie sweatshirt season. I want to be comfy and especially in like that transition period where it's still kind of warm, but getting into that cozy feel, there's nothing I like more than a crew neck, my little like runner shorts, tight spanks, and you know, some sneakers or whatever, like just that is the go-to outfit. <laughs> so I also want to get a gray Annie Bing sweatshirt with like the green writing again going back to that green um, but I think that is just like really cute um, a basic like I said the sweatshirts don't really need much explaining now the next item Hanifa has been just freaking killing it I mean they've always had some gems but some of their fall items I mean chef's kiss um, the first one being the Hanifa Maya knit dress in emerald. Stunning. So cute. Perfect for fall. It is just a beautiful, classy, chic piece. I also, of course, love it in black as well, but you can't really go wrong. Black obviously being very sleek and just a minimal basic, but in that emerald green, it really pops. So I'm kind of like, do I want it in the black? In that emerald though, the emerald is heat. And it has like those little, it has like that little shaggy at the bottom. I mean, the sleeves look nice and long and cuffed. I'm like, I need to get my hands on this dress. It looks so cozy, so snug. And again, I just love how it's taking your fall cozy wear and making it more elevated and chic. Like, we are here for that. Okay, next again from Hanifa, like 
the Sia knit set is stunning like the maxi skirt is so cute that stripe down the middle is definitely like very different that turtleneck crop sweater is so cute again just a lovely fall item the green is stunning i'm just like i love how long the sleeves look and it just gives oh man it looks so elevated again the whole set is so cute but if i had to at least pick out of the set that cropped sweater knit is so cute i'm like that turtleneck like oh yum the sleeves just everything about it i'm like is there gonna be anything on here that's not green <laughs> I feel like my whole list is becoming green. I don't know what it is, but the green is just killing it across the board. So next is this knit mini skirt um, by Tyler Lambert in brown. I am obviously it's time for the knit. So I am definitely have a lot of knits on this list, but I love that combination. Even like the Hanifa set of cropped but knit mini skirt but knit you know and so playing in between those two of like still knit for the seasonal but you can still play with it being cropped or mini and you know kind of play around with those aspects but this knit skirt so cute mini i'm thinking like yes i just like need a good mini skirt pair probably with like some knee highs or a strappy heel whatever but it looks so cute. Lori Harvey actually wore this skirt in blue for fashion week in New York and it was so cute on her but I'm curious about it in the brown. I feel like that's very just fitting for like the fall winter season you know. So okay next Joa Brown. I am loving um their new pine collection like that dark green is so cute again like oh my gosh I just Green, 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 green. But the little like sweat set, I don't really think I'd go for like the t-shirt, but the like sweatshirt and sweatpants, obviously like fall, you gotta just have cute sets on deck. I really wish though, and I didn't see it when I was like exploring if they had the green color in a crew neck. The blue zip up of theirs is also really cute. Even their brown new silk set, I'm like, perfect. I need a new fall pajama cozy. Like it's time for the cute PJs. Honestly, there's a lot of things from Joe Brown that, that I need this season. So um, she's definitely on my list. Okay, next is this H&M green trench coat. I have, disclaimer, I have not found this online. The people at H&M say it's online. Um, I haven't found it. I saw it on Instagram and again the green i honestly feel like i'm a broken record at this point with all the freaking green but this h&m green trench coat is so cute a must i thought it was literally stunning and then of course being from h&m more on the affordable side but you guys i cannot find it so i am on the hunt um to be honest i didn't do too much digging but i searched online i didn't see it on their site so I'm trying to figure out how to pin it down, but so, so cute. It speaks for itself. It's time to bring out the trench coats. It is fall, like we're all here for this, but the color was so cute in this deep green. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And even when I saw it, I saw it paired with this all black outfit and I was like, this is so cute. Like I'm just, as you guys can tell, I'm so excited for fall. It's like outfits you can start to layer up, get cute, put on your boots, just, this is when real fashion happens. Um, but yeah, this H&M green trench coat, very cute. Next for a few accessories, I don't really have too much on my list right now in the accessories, but another little luxury item was this Jimmy Choo multicolored crystal top bag. It is stunning. Um, obviously it is dazzling, it's sparkling, but the colors of it are just so cute it gives me sunset sun kissed just very very luxe item for the fall to add on as an accessory for your bag so i definitely wanted to include that on my items that are on my wish list but other than that i really don't have that many more like accessories right now that are in my eye i do want to get another better tote bag um, for the fall. I haven't really made up my mind what kind of tote. So TBD on that. I keep you guys posted. But really 
I have a lot of clothes and shoes that I want for the fall. I'm really focused on like boots, knits, comfy clothes, um, but some of those elevated comfy clothes as well to keep still that chic look. But those really are the bulk of my items on my wish list for fall fashion. As of now, if I get some more, I definitely will do a part two. Let me know what's on your guys' wish list in the comments below or if I have some of the same items that you guys are also looking at. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.